Hi, this tutorial is brought to you by pm-prep35.com. We are a free PMP training website. Do access uh, pm-prep35.com for a lot of free resources in terms of mock exams, chapter tests and tutorials. In this session, I am going to cover plans, schedule management, process. This process is part of um, time management knowledge area and um, it is uh, understandably a uh, planning process. Scope time cost or triple constraints. So time, uh, the schedule management process which relates to time is a very important planning process. Um, so this is the process where the methodologies or how to deal with the different processes in this knowledge area are all detailed. Like any other planning process, the project management plan gets first documented and it has less information initially but as the planning process as such moves on the project manager has enough information to pull out the subsidiary plans into their own documentation this is the same case with schedule management plan also in what starts as a one liner in the project management plan becomes a detailed plan in the form of schedule management plan so the schedule management plan has project management plan as one of the main inputs in terms of the ITTOs uh, when it comes to the PMBOK. The schedule management plan understandably should take care of all the organizational constraints in, the term, in terms of structure, processes, um, external factors uh, into consideration while building the plan because the organization structure or the culture plays a vital role as enterprise environmental factors which can affect the project as such. So the country in which the project is being performed are all examples of um, enterprise environmental factors and they should be they are accounted as part of enterprise environmental factors and they are vital inputs to build the schedule management plan. As with all the triple constraints processes or the plans the project charter is one of the vital inputs basically because these plans get built as one of the first steps uh, while building the project management plan the schedule management plan has project charter as one of the main inputs basically because uh, the schedule management plan deals with one of the triple constraints so these are the inputs for this particular process number one is the project management plan number two is the project charter which gives you an idea of what needs to be done because you are doing the schedule planning as one of the first steps during the planning process then comes the enterprise environmental factors which talks about market condition which keeps in mind market condition organization culture or any other external factors, working conditions, all these become part of your external enter enterprise factors. Then comes the organizational process as said, because this is a planning process and also planning can reuse some of the experience in prior projects as well as templates, process, guidelines. So that's why organizational process assets is an input like any other planning process. In this process, as with all planning process, expert judgment is used and then meetings are an important part, mainly planning. So you have meetings, then you have analytical techniques because the expert judgment is done using a lot of analytical techniques or even otherwise when you, you have to analyze to come up with the plan for the particular uh, knowledge area. So these are the three uh, uh, tools and techniques that are that are used in case of this particular process expert judgment um, analytical techniques and meetings so output of this particular process is um, um, the schedule management plan the schedule management plan has all the process procedures um, what would be the tools that would be used as part of this particular process how the different process will be handled what are the methodologies what are the best practices that would be followed as as part of this particular process are all covered in the schedule management plan. Uh, with that, 
in uh, mind let's quickly walk through uh, the important points in case of this particular process the plan schedule management process is concerned with creation of schedule management plan the schedule management plan is a subsidiary plan part of the project management plan schedule management plan has details of how schedule will be managed and controlled this is one of the important uh, points uh, uh, the schedule management plan is usually used is, is a baseline is the actual baseline document that against which the project manager can cross check the performance of the project he can monitor the actuals or uh, how how the project is performing compared to what was planned initially and and how to do the monitoring and controlling process also covered in terms of uh, um, referring the schedule management plan so this is a baseline document which uh, which does not undergo changes until unless there is a, uh, a valid case for that which goes through the change request or the change uh, control process so this document is used as baseline and um, it uh, it is used during monitoring and controlling where any checking against baseline has to be done so that's where um, as details of how schedule will be managed and controlled so for example if you want to change the schedule document as such uh, project schedule document then you will have to refer how to go about who is the approving authority how will it be done what are the factors uh, that would um, need to be kept in mind uh, as part of the change process how change approval will be done all those details go in inside this document decide this next point decide on policies processes procedures tools and techniques that's one of the important aspects of any plan document it decides about policies processes procedures to be followed and any best practices tools and techniques that are used in prior projects or reused here project management inputs of this particular process project management plan this has the basic inputs like scope baseline and cost baseline among others to develop the schedule management plan so obviously the um, schedule management plan is built based on the scope scope baseline and the cost baseline so you know based on what you understand is the cost baseline or in the initial stages the high level cost baseline which comes from the project charter you decide what is the plan because based on the cost that is available or the scope available you would form follow a different approach to manage the time or what how to bring in resources how to uh, get them offload is all based on uh, your your timeline or the cost or the scope involved so the schedule management plan should document all this from the point of schedule if if a milestone is specified in the project charter that the project is required on so and so date obviously uh, your approach or the planning would be different uh, compared to what it is for if for example one month the project is needed in one month it is needed in six months so the schedule management plan will vary so that's where the baselines are really important so the triple constraints go hand in hand in terms of the scope time and cost so each of them should be kept in mind when you are deciding the other one the project charter is another input during the initial stages the project charter might have to be referred since the pm plan by itself will be in the preliminary stage summary schedule high level risk cost are all part of the project charter so next input is enterprise environmental factors the constraints under which the organization is performing or what needs to be kept in mind while building the plans there might be you might be if you don't consider the external factors you might to come up with a totally different plan which has to be revisited or totally wrong so that's where considering what is around what will affect the project from external uh, entities is what uh, co covered in the enterprise environmental factors organizational process can be anything like a template process guideline so these are all uh, uh, important um, in uh, important components of organization process guide uh, assets so these are all something which has helped prior projects or um, it increases reuse historical information uh, lessons learned are all what uh, are all parts of you know organizational uh, process assets so tools and techniques expert judgment like any 
process that involves planning pla think planning as something which is um, uh, uh, which involves a lot of forethought so that's where expert judgment is involved um, compared to the executing processes you would use a lot of expert judgment in case of the planning process so it becomes a common thing across most of the planning processes especially when you're creating the plan documents analytical techniques is the next input uh, next technique uh, analytical technique uh, might take the form of identifying the correct methodology tools and techniques relevant to the current project context meetings planning meetings these go hand in hand understandably meetings are organized with experienced managers resources consultants sponsors to collate information and for better decision making so these should be factored in the plan so you plan better your execution becomes better so that's why you have so much of care taken in the form of expert judgment or meetings um, analytical techniques being involved and things like that uh, the output is a schedule management plan like any other plan this will hold the methodology tools and techniques relevant for a specific knowledge area based on this other documents or deliverables in this knowledge area will be created um, so that's about uh, the plan schedule management process um, uh, so this is a fairly straightforward process in term if you really understand planning as such then plan schedule management is not very much different you uh, uh, because schedule management is one of the is concerned with the one of the triple constraints project charter is useful in the initial stages the project management plan and the subsidiary plans get developed side by side that's why the project management plan is one of the main inputs so you can think of this particular process as because it falls in the planning uh, pr planning uh, uh, process group and it's one of the first process for the fact that it involves schedule and time so that's why you will have the earl i mean the initiating and the first one of the first inputs uh, as as its input one of the first documents uh, in terms of project management plan and project charter being the inputs for this particular process then you obviously have enterprise environmental factors which need to be considered um, uh, during planning process so that's where enterprise environmental factors and then comes the organizational process assets which helps you reuse a prior experience so that's where that comes into picture meetings are conducted to come up with a schedule management plan which has processes to which has the methodology to conduct um, the different processes in the knowledge area what are the tools that can be used what are the techniques what are the best practices what would be done when how monitoring and controlling will happen how often will be will that be done so it will detail each and every process in this particular knowledge area for example develop schedule will have an entry here stating what tools will be used what process will be followed uh, what kind of um, uh, you know what kind of resources would be needed um, to do things so um, so it, it it would view everything from the time point of view and uh, it would document details about all the processes in this particular no knowledge area as well as it will write any tailoring guidelines which might be very specific to this particular project so uh, that's about schedule management plan do visit pm-prep35.com for a lot of mock exams and um, um, uh, chapter and tests and tutorials thank you